NXT will be moving to Tuesday night starting April 13th of this year. That's right after WrestleMania. It's uh, it's all part of a new multi-year plan the WWE and USA Network have uh, agreed to to keep the program on USA Network's airways for years to come. And it kind of breaks down to this, Trevor. You, uh, you, uh, USA wanted NXT to move t- from Wednesday nights for a while, a right. long time. This has been in the works. And every time they've tried to... Uh, convince management every time they try to convince WWE to move NXT back to or to another day to Tuesday whatever they have they've just been fought very hard by Vince and that's because you know AEW is on Wednesday night they kind of they want to be able to counter program them and they really haven't been successful at all um you know and like I said this puts an end to the Wednesday night war which when you think about it wasn't really much of a war you know, like if you want to look at overall records of who won the ratings battle, it was NXT or it was a AEW like handily. It, Dynamite won 62 compared to NXT's nine head to head fights. And then in the key demos, which everyone likes to talk about, Dynamite won 72 to, AE, to NXT's one. So, like, it, it, and granted, both shows did very well. Like, like I, I'm not trying to, like, you know, bury NXT or anything. Like, like, both shows did very well, and like you can see, you, in a wrestling a wrestling show like a a B wrestling show, whatever you want to call it, can get a million people to watch. I think on us on a single night, and AEW's a- a- done that, NXT has done that. But the problem is they've been head to head, so the audience for a long time has been split. Um, and I think this is going to be a healthy move for AEW. I think it's going to be a healthy move for NXT who are going to move to Tuesday, have their own day. They're going to be able to build their storylines with people actually watching. And the fans win by this, I think. The fans 100% win because I'm not going to lie to you. Wednesday nights were getting to be a chore for me, watching AEW and then like having to keep up with NXT. It was becoming a bit of a chore. So I think, you know, breaking it up a little bit, it's good because those are like the two main shows that the hardcore wrestling fans watch anyway. But Trevor, what do you think about this move? I mean... Having TiVo helped me a lot on Wednesdays. Um, damn, so you still got TiVo? Well, actually, I got Hulu, but yeah. You know, I was about to say, damn, <laughs> old ass. <laughs> Find your business. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, being able to record it really, really did help. But like you said, it was a chore, man. Like, literally, you have to, they come on at the same time, pretty much. So it was a chore. But honestly, I believe it, it, Kind of, it's kind of it was kind of fun having that old like Wednesday night war kind of like reminiscent of the Monday night war, but uh, it it does help both companies a lot, especially NXT. Even though I still believe in my heart of hearts they're the superior superior brand right now in WWE. Um, for a long time, the only thing I watched made by WWE is stuff from pay per views, and um, now SmackDown is is showing its ass and they're doing pretty well. But um, going to going to Tuesdays helps them. I mean, who are they really competing with? Impact Wrestling. Who the fuck watches that? Oh no, Impact. Like, yo, Impact. They they preempted this. They they knew this was coming, so they moved to Thursdays. <laughs> <laughs> but was the Impact originally on Thursdays? Yo, back. Snap back to reality. We're back where it started. Where it all begins again. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, screw this. We're going back to Thursday. We're not dealing with the next team. God, but dude. NWA is still um still on Tuesdays, I believe. Yep, NWA Power is still on Tuesdays. But but I think that they're they're a YouTube show, right? So the, yeah. they're gonna be so they'll, so they'll be fine. Be fine. Pe- people are gonna want be able to watch them whenever. I mean, people are gonna be fine. But honestly, I think like you, uh, just to piggyback off what you said, I think this is a great move. For both companies, um, probably more so in uh, NXT because they don't have to compete with end up in uh, AEW. Um, yeah, I, I I can't wait. Honestly, I think it's gonna be cool. I think it's gonna be a good move for both. Yeah, and and, and to me, it's kind of like this. This honestly, like like NXT moving to Wednesday nights or, or being changed to a USA Network show right before AEW right before AEW aired. That was a pretty petty move. I'm not gonna lie to you. I understand yeah, why was. Vince did it, but it, it it came across to a lot of wrestling fans as a petty move. It came across to, you know, even wrestlers themselves is like, oh, wow, this is 
Like, like it puts. So not only does it put your show NXT in a hole to begin with, right? Because you're competing with this hot new brand that is, you know, catching fire. That's selling out in minutes. That is, you know, like like people are excited for it, that has big names. Not only are you competing with that, and you're competing with that on the same night. And that's going to put your wrestlers in a hole because now they're going to have to work 10 times, 15 times as hard to try to get over with an audience that might might or might not be watching. Uh, or if they're watching, they're going to be flipping channels back and forth. I Like, like sometimes I do do that. Like, if NXT or if AEW's on a break, I'll switch over to NXT. But, like, like for me, at least, you know, it's been very consistent, though. Like, a- NXT has put out a good product. But I'm always almost exclusively like watching Wednesday night wrestling. I'm watching AEW. Like 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 that's the one like I tune into first. That's the one I usually stick with, and then I'll watch NXT afterwards. But it, it it's but I don't think like NXT again, it's like not one of those things. Like NXT hasn't been putting on a bad product. I just think one of the other things that AEW has that's that's gone well for them is the fact that that's their only show every yeah. week. You know, with WWE, NXT is kind of under that umbrella with WWE. So you have Raw, you have SmackDown. You're just kind of like, at some point, you're like, all right, let me let me get out of this WWE universe, literally. <laughs> and, and like, like you know, go see something else. So I think that might have played into it as well. Um, and and I mean, AEW does have two more shows. But again, it's just like uh, NWA. They're on YouTube. They have uh, Dark on Mondays and they have Dark on Tuesdays as well. But it's again, it again it benefits them to have one prime time mm. show. Yeah, yeah, and and for me the other thing is like dark and dark elevation. Like those aren't even like their main. Sh- those are like their their heat and their velocity. It's exactly, like- <laughs> that's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.